CSF pleocytosis means increase in white blood cells count in the cerebrospinal fluid. The cerebrospinal fluid is removed by doing a lumbar puncture by poking the needle in the low back and removing a fluid and sending for analysis. Normally, the cells, the white blood cells in the CSF should not be more than five cells per cubic millimeter or microliter. If there are more than five cells, it is called a cerebral uh, CSF pleocytosis. If it is between 5 to 25, it is called mild. Between 25 to 100, it is called moderate. And above 100, it is called severe. If, it is, if the cell count is above 100, uh, it is most often because of the infections, most likely bacterial infections. Or sometimes it can also happen in tuberculosis or rarely uh, viral infections also. If it is between less than 100 and, and more than 5, it is still abnormal. But there are many other differential diagnoses which can add upon apart from the infections themselves. It could be malignancies of the, um, uh, the rest of the body where they have spread to the meninges. It is called as carcinomatous meningitis and it can also have this in other autoimmune encephalitis conditions and it can happen in patients with stroke or even multiple sclerosis or demyelinating disorders. So all, although the protein elevation is disproportionately more compared to the cellular elevation in, in, in the other conditions. So CSF pleocytosis means that there's increased white blood cell count and it more likely sized up as, uh, as an infection or a malignancy is what we need to consider.